So what is going on dammers, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 18th Angular 6 tutorial in which this is a part 4 of the login app which we have been creating and in this tutorial we're gonna add some real working stuff into the application so that you can actually use Angular with your backend and authentication. So let's get started. Okay, so in this tutorial, what we're going to essentially do is get the data from backend. Now, what we're doing right now is that we're just hard coding the data which would be visible to the user once the user authenticates. That is not of much use because once you export your application to production, whatever data you have by your route protected or whatever you have implemented in Angular itself only, that is useless because Angular runs on front end, so anyone can reverse engineer and see what data you are hiding. So what you essentially need anyway is sessions and cookies and all that stuff, all that traditional stuff with your Angular front end. So let's just see how we can quickly implement that in a very simple application. Now let me just zoom in a little here. And you can see that this code is from our previous tutorial. Now what I want to do is once the username and password matches the admin, what I want to do is I just want to set a session variable here and I'm going to just say session user is admin. So what it will do is that it would start a session for that particular person. Alright, now we have set the user to admin. What I want to do next is just create another file in here which would be database.php and right here now obviously your backend would vary from language to language but this is a very simple example with php i'm just gonna start my session again i'm gonna say user is session and user right typically your code would look like something like now it would query this user from the database after sanitizing this and checking for if it is blank or not and all that stuff so it would look like something like select um records from user table where user is equal username is equal to your sanitized username something like this and you will just get this data and throw it back to the client but here what we're gonna do is pretty much just hard code the data which would be coming from the server i'm just gonna say if user is admin then I'm gonna say um, just like echo I can just say something like message this is a secret message only for administrator and we can just also say success is true just like that uh, right here there we go So what we have here is yep okay so now we are just we'll just echo out otherwise message who the f are you and uh, the second object could be success as false all right so now with our database database being ready what we just want to do is go to client and start inspecting inside network tab if we can just make it a little bigger if i click on login i go admin admin hit submit you can see that we get top secret and if i just go to it all uh, you can see that we get this is the secret no one knows but the admin this is from auth.php but what we want is we want to query this database.php file but if you see that inside headers we get the set cookie header which means that the php now will now recognize this guy whenever i send a re send a request to this php thing so what i want to do now is uh, go to my admin component here and admin component right there 
I'm just going to say um, message, right? So I'm just going to say inside here message is equal to loading, right? And inside my ng on init, I'm going to create another service. So let's just create another service ng generate service and user service right so this would contain all the methods associated with once the user is logged in so how do you want to communicate with the back end and all that stuff so here we have our user service in place and what I want to do is again inject my HTTP client right here now we can access this so I'm just gonna say get some data here and I'm just going to return this.http.get and this would be API database.php right and uh, that is pretty much it I just want to specify the data uh, my data type interface here so what we can do is just create an interface my data here which would contain the stuff like uh we have message and success only so there we have message as string and success as boolean all right so now we are just returning this rxjs object observable to which we can subscribe so what i want to do is inject this service first of all let's just inject this service in our app module so what we want to do is let's say auth service user service from user dot service there we are and uh, we have user service here and now what i want to do is just inside my admin component i just want to check this user service and we are all go to rock and roll so I'm gonna say this dot user dot get some data dot subscribe data I'm gonna update this dot message is data dot message all right so there we are and uh, if I just see everything makes sense yep so we can see that uh, cannot resolve angular common okay so it, it's just up to this and what we have here is that if we just go to localhost okay yeah so we need we need two messages here two curly braces message there we are and now if I just go to login admin admin with summit this is a secret message only for administrator right and you can see that we queried database.php and it returned this is a secret message only for administrator now let's just for time being enable login for um, everybody so what I'm gonna do is just inside my um, os.php I'm just gonna uh, say something like this uh, otherwise I just want session or um, yeah anyways the session is already started so we do not need to make changes here what we can do instead is pretty much just say something like um, if I just kind of clear my cookies here and reload the admin can see that uh, we get nothing now the reason for that is that angular also cleared its state here but uh, let's just say somehow the user actually got to slash admin without angular getting being node so user actually tr bypassed the auth card so what we can do in here first of all is that we can just return always true this is what a nasty user would try to do. It would try to change the guard information to true. 
So what you can user can do now is just log in with any details, hit submit. It says invalid credentials. Uh, okay, because we are having some validation somewhere else as well. And where is it? Our auth dot service. Okay, where are we actually alerting this thing? Um, I believe it was in my login component. Yep. So let's just say it is something like this, right? And now the user can log in with any credentials, okay? And you can see that the user was able to get to admin, but it was not able to get our admin secret data because the database.json at the back end cannot verify that this is the admin. This is because we have created a session this auth.php call created a session call right here. You can see response headers has nothing because no cookie because request already had one. So you can see that uh, pretty much this is the way to implement sessions with your Angular application. And what we can do is one more thing. We can actually redirect the user to the home page if return this dot auth dot lo is logged in right so what we can do is just say if this dot auth dot is logged in is false that means the user is not logged in i just want to say this dot router dot navigate to home page or to login rather and we can just import the router router and we just need it till here and there we go so now you can see that slash admin redirects us to slash login if we are not logged in right and if i hit enter admin admin and admin hit submit it shows me this is a secret message only for administrator and our in this slash admin redirects to slash login because when, when I reload angular loses its state of is logged in otherwise we are actually technically still logged in because the cookies here still exist you can see so that's all for this one and in the next tutorial we're gonna see how to persist this thing on angular as well so that's all for this one and thank you for watching I'll see you then in the next video and one more thing, if you like this video, then don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to receive instant notifications.